Hi everyone, it's Ken LaRue from the Shotgun Team, and here's our tip of the day in 30 tips in 30 days. I'm going to cheat a little bit today because I'm going to put multiple tips into this one video. Some are going to be about workflows, some are going to be about hotkeys, but they're all going to focus on the media app. The first hotkeys we'll look at have to do with navigating through the different entities you have available to you. Now, the term entity can be one of many different things, such as shots and assets and so on. And this becomes extremely handy, especially when you're working in the new global media app, where you can access all your projects in one location. It becomes critical to be able to access and navigate through all the different projects and sequences and assets and shots that you have available. So that's why we'll start off looking at those hotkeys. And then we're going to spend time looking at some of the hotkeys that are available to you for accessing and playing your media in the overlay player. And it should go without saying, but I'll say it anyways, everything we're going to learn is relevant and works whether you're accessing the media app as a global media app, as I am here, or if you're going to be accessing the media app from directly within inside of one of your projects. The hotkeys and the workflow are the same. So as I said, we'll start looking at the hotkeys for doing some navigation, and I am in the global media app right here. In fact, if you look over on the left-hand side, you can see the list of all the projects that are part of my shotgun site. So if I go over to the right-hand side and I use my scroll bar, I can scroll through and see all the media from all of my projects because I have all versions and all projects currently selected over here on the left-hand side in my list. Now, if I want to start navigating down through my different projects, I can start using the down arrow key. And now you can see one by one, I'm navigating down and each project is then selected and the media relevant to that individual project is being displayed here in my global media app. The up arrow key, it brings you up. You start navigating up through each one of the projects. But here's where it starts to get really powerful. It gets a little further than just navigating up and down. And you can see that I currently have Hyperspace Madness. That project is selected. And I want to expand this project so I can access the different entities, the different shots and assets that are part of this project. And instead of clicking on the little triangle next to the name of the project, I can use my right arrow key and that will expand the selected object, this case being the Hyperspace Madness project. So now if I use the down arrow key, I navigate to the assets and the shots, the different entities that are part of this project. And of course, the up arrow key, it's going to take me back up. Let me navigate back down to the shots for my Hyperspace Madness, so it's highlighted. Once again, I will hit the right arrow key, and now I see all the different sequences that are part of the shots. If you want to collapse something, you hit the left arrow key, and then I can continue to use my left and my right keys to expand and collapse different things, or my up and down arrow keys to navigate through the different assets, the shots, the sequences, the versions, and the projects. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Let's move on to some of the hotkeys available to you in the overlay player. So I'm still in my Hyperspace Madness project, and I can see all the versions that are available to me here, and I want to start playing one of them back. So I'll bring my cursor over to the little play icon. It's highlighted. I click on it, and that version now opens up in the overlay player, and we'll start playing back. Your spacebar is your stop and your playback hotkey, and as you hit it, you'll either stop the playback or start the playback. Using my right arrow key, I can navigate one frame forward, one frame at a time. Then using my left arrow key, I can navigate back one frame at a time. Another great tip is you can bring your cursor anywhere along this blue line, your playback line here, and you're going to get a thumbnail and a frame information of what you are over, what your cursor is currently over. This can be very handy, especially when you have a very long clip and you're trying to find a specific frame that you're looking for, or you've got a whole bunch of clips edited together as a playlist and you want to find a specific frame or specific part of one of the clips or versions in that playlist, you can very easily find it. 
Looking at the top of the UI, you can see it reads version, and it gives me the name of the version that I'm currently looking at. And then under the name of the version, we can see it lists the project that this version is in, plus how many versions are available, and it's letting me know that this is number 4 of 20. Now, if I wanted to navigate and play back the next version or the previous version to this version that I'm looking at, I could use these arrows that you see to the left and the right of the display of the name. Or if I hit the P key, I'm going to navigate to the previous version, then the one I'm looking at, and it will start playing back. Let me stop the playback. And if I hit the N key, I'm going to navigate to the next version. So what's great about these hotkeys, it allows you to navigate and play back different versions you have, let's say in a playlist, so you can quickly jump from version to version in that playlist, or as I am here, I can navigate through all the versions that are available to me in the global media app, or if you're looking at the media app inside of a project, you can quickly get to the versions you want to see without having to exit out of the overlay player. All right, now I'm gonna hit the escape key, which is gonna take me out of the overlay player. And then in the upper left corner, I'll click on the playlist option to get my playlists that are available to me. And then under the smart playlist, we've got our my versions, last import, and one named unviewed. I find the unviewed playlist an extremely powerful tool because it allows me to look at all the versions I haven't yet reviewed. Looking at the media app, You'll notice that some of the little play icons under the different versions, some are blue and some are gray. A highlighted blue play button means you have not reviewed this clip yet. You have not looked at this version yet. Where you'll see the gray play button or icon and it gets highlighted in white when you bring your cursor over, this is telling you that you have reviewed this version. The unviewed view lets you quickly locate the media you have not reviewed. Let's say you're caught up on a meeting, you're away from your desk, and you come back and there's been a whole bunch of new versions that are being sent to you that you need to review. And then instead of using my scroll bar and navigating through all the different versions and trying to find the ones that have the blue icon and the ones that don't have the blue icon, I can just click on the unviewed playlist and now only the clips, only the versions that I have not reviewed are displayed for me. Also notice we have our recent playlist that we've created ourselves. And if I click on that, now you'll see that I'm looking at the playlist and I can see all the different versions that are part of this playlist. And if I wanna play back this playlist, I click on this icon up here in the top of the UI and it's going to load the playlist into our overlay player. Now all the clips, all the versions in this playlist are going to play back one after each other. Let me stop the playback by hitting the spacebar once again. If I hold the Option key down on my Mac or the Alt key on Windows and Linux, and I use my right arrow key, I will navigate to the first frame of the next version in this playlist. If I hold the Option key again on the Mac or Alt on Windows and Linux and use the left arrow key, I'm going to navigate to the first frame of the previous version or clip inside of this sequence. Now, if I bring my cursor to the upper right corner, you'll see this little icon and as I hover over it, it reads, show the detail panel. If I click on it, we're gonna display the detail panel. And if I click on it again, we're going to hide the detail panel. Or I can just use the D key as a hotkey to show and hide my detail panel. Right now we're looking at our media in the standard overlay player. Now there's something called the immersive mode that allows you to zoom in and have your media be full frame of the player and eliminating some of the elements of the UI that you might not need. And the hotkey to enter the immersive mode is hold the shift key and hit the F key. By using that combination, you can see I now have stepped into the immersive mode. You'll notice the play button is gone, the access to the tools are gone, but now I can see my media, whether it's my versions or a playlist, in a larger format. If you want to exit the immersive mode, once again, you can hold Shift and hit the F key, or you can just hit the Escape key. Both those hotkey combinations will exit out of immersive mode. 
Lastly, I'll hit the escape key again, which will take me out of the overlaid player, and I go back to the current playlist that I had selected prior to going into the overlay player. So that's just a quick look of some of the workflow and the hotkeys available to you when you are working with your media app, whether it's a global media app or whether it's the media app through a specific project. That's our tip for today in 30 tips in 30 days.